And he walked him or did oh, it hit him hit in the him. foot? Hit him oh. in the foot. That hurts. So another Met is hit and JD is in pain. Trying to struggle his way to his feet. But that one really hurt. No other team has been hit by more than 11. I mean, on a 3 2 pitch, how can you miss that badly on a 3 2 pitch? Honestly. Maybe even on the shin. Well, they're going to have to take him out of the game. The question is whether he can walk on his own no. off the field. You got to help carry him, don't let him walk on that. And it's up and in, and you had to know that was coming. And Arenado nods out at Lopez as if to say, I knew, and now he says, Come get me. And here we go. You knew something was going to happen, and here it is. Both benches empty, and they are really going at it now. This has been brewing for the last couple of days. And after J.D. Davis got drilled in the ankle, bodies start to fly. And it's these Cabrera who hit J.D. Davis is right in the middle of it. That's Pete in the middle of it. Yoan Lopez, brand new to this team, but he knew what was going to be asked of him. And he dusted off Arenado, and Arenado took exception. He has been separated from the pack. The Mets' second bench clearing incident as the result of being hit by so many pitches. They had one in Washington the second day of the season, and now it erupts here in St. Louis. And I have to. Say it was only a matter of time. Well, after Davis got hit, uh, you heard me say it's going to get ugly here in the next couple innings, and here is what has happened. Um, that was an automatic. I personally wouldn't have thrown at the head of Arenado. I would have. I would have hit him though. Lopez is going back to the mound. We'll see whether there's any penalties adjudicated on either side. The umpire is gathering now. Arenado gestured aggressively toward Lopez, and that's what caused the benches to clear. And we'll see whether he's allowed to stay in the game. I think for Arenado, he, he understood that he might be hit at that at bat. But I don't think he appreciated that it was around his head. Well, Arenado still has the bat in his hands, and Lopez is on the mound. And now the umpires are going to go to both managers and explain what they've decided to do. Arenado pleading his case, he might have been ejected. He's walking off toward the dugout, so it looks like he's out of the game. Yeah. And we'll see whether Lopez gets the same. I think the aggressive move of Arenado. Remember in Washington, um, who was it who got ejected for making an aggressive move? It was the, it was the pitcher. Pitcher, yeah. Yeah. Um, when uh, when Lindor got hit and Buck stormed out of the dugout, and the pitcher was judged to have made the aggressive move and was thrown out of the game. Marmol is not happy because his guy has been ejected. And it does not look for the moment as though Lopez has been. And now warnings are issued to both dugouts. Mark Wagner, the crew chief, just pointed to both dugouts. Second time in this series, they've had to issue warnings, which makes you surprised that they didn't issue warnings before this game began. Usually, a lot of times when they have a warning inside of any game inside a series, it'll carry over. This is why I like using the Mets broadcast. They usually provide good insight. As they said, and we saw in the Washington brawl, as confirmed by Brian Gorman, the umpires are looking to eject the primary aggressor. And if anyone on top of that is excessively violent, like throwing a punch or dragging someone to the ground, that person will go too. I mean, the nod was fine, but then he started gesturing, and that's what got the dugouts empty. That's why Arenado was thrown out of the game. And clearly the umpires have been told that players who make aggressive moves like that yeah. are the ones who should be penalized. I see Nito got right in the middle of it with a whole bunch of Cardinals before the rest of the Mets got there. Well, Arenado threw him aside. Then Molina grabbed Nito. 
And then Pete just got in the middle because he's got the the most anger of any player on the Mets. Okay, so it's pretty clear why Arenado's gone. Primary aggressor threw the catcher aside, instigated the clearing. But there's more. The Mets had to answer, Gary. That you just can't, well, can't take it. Starting Marte said it after the game last night. He said it's got to stop or we're going to do something about it. And the Mets finally did something about it. That was some impressive wall climbing. I love that. Anyway, Arenado is properly ejected for actions in response to the pitch, but should Lopez have been gone too? Rule 602C9 suggests that if the umpires deemed it was intentional because of how high the pitch was thrown near the head, the pitcher should be gone too. But if the umpires didn't deem it was intentional, there's no basis in ejecting the pitcher. They warned both sides, which suggests to me that they did not rule intent. Remember, you don't need intent to issue warnings. Warnings can be issued at any time for any reason, and after a bench clearing brawl is a pretty good time and also a pretty good reason. These replays show why Stubby Clap was ejected. It's rolled over here and they dragged him down. I don't know who dragged him down, but that was Stubby Clap. Yeah, the, the, the coach. first base coach. Apparently Stubby Clap has been kicked out as well. Willie McGee now coaching first base. If you are in enough of those fights, um, as soon as you run out there, you know the you identify the three or four participants that you know are going to be uh, the ones that are in the middle of it. It's always the same guys, always. So you try to get to them as quick as possible. Nolan Arenado taking exception, <laughs> and started clearing space. To review, Arenado's ejection is fine. Clapp's ejection is also fine. The only question is whether this is an intentional pitch at the batter's head. If so, the pitcher should be ejected, and if not, then you can't eject the pitcher by rule. Warnings are good here because the bench is cleared, regardless of intent. Remember on the Washington fight when the Apple TV broadcaster mentioned the pitchers were having trouble gripping the ball? And a bunch of comments on the video were pretty sexist regarding her words. Well, I'd like those same commenters to take a listen to this on the Mets postgame show today slickness of the ball you know right if, if they're not getting hit on other teams that doesn't mean that the ball isn't slick and that people don't uh, the pitchers don't have control it just means that maybe they were able to get out of the way a little bit mm -hmm. 